fabulous weather today for this first day of summer. And with that comes the nagging seasonal task of putting on sunscreen, as Elise mentioned. We all know the benefits of that, but how do you pick the best kind for your skin? Tonight we hear from experts who help us understand the difference between the two main types. First, you have chemical. That's your typical sunscreen. The other option is mineral. You naturally wonder which offers better protection. There's not really a question of one versus another being better or necessarily safer. It's which one, honestly, for me, the patients are going to want to apply. Chemical sunscreen works like a sponge, absorbing the sun's rays. It's easier to rub in and usually contains more active ingredients. Mineral sunscreen, on the other hand, works like a shield, sitting on the surface of your skin, so it's harder to rub in. Dermatologist Dr. Alyssa Daniel says it's best for kids and people with sensitive skin. There are some skin conditions, um, especially if patients are dealing with problems with pigment, that I do prefer more of the mineral blockers. There is some controversy surrounding traditional chemical sunscreen and if it has an effect on your body. Chemical sunscreens have been found in the bloodstream. However, there has been no link to that um, causing any health-related changes yet, they're still having to do further research on that and what that actually means. As for SPF numbers, Dr. Daniel says you don't need anything higher than 30 as long as you apply correctly and reapply. The higher SPF numbers can help those who forget to lather up throughout the day. Dr. Daniel also warned that a bad sunburn in your childhood can increase your risk to develop melanoma later on in life.